Hey everyone, welcome back to the Raised Gardener YouTube videos, potato boxes. Um, we're gonna get rid of this one today. You can see that the plants are pretty much dried up. Uh, we've got some cooler weather coming, basically the end of the season for the potato plants. The garden is mostly cleared out already. Just got some carrots left, some pumpkins really, and a couple odd tomato plants, but that's about it. This box here, as I stated originally, I was not going to be keeping this one anyway. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to push this thing over, take the rest of the dirt, just throw it in the in the garden over there. Let's see how many potatoes I get out of this. This one here was just uh, some spare potato seeds that we had kicking around anyway in some soil. Just threw that in here. This is going to be firewood afterwards. Uh, that one there, uh, I'm going to make a second one. I've already got all the wood for it. I'm going to make it more or less just right in this area here. Um, possibly even doing a greenhouse uh, for next spring. Get, get that going as well. This is all gonna be changed because this this wood here has to come off now that I see anyway. So I just kept it, I just put it on there. So to hold the plants up from them really falling all the way over. Uh, a couple of comments that I got from a few of you, which is great. Hey, leave some comments, let me know what to do. Uh, some people are saying, um, a few less potato seeds in, in each box. Sure, let's try that. Uh, they're also saying to trim the plants down a little bit. Um, potatoes will grow bigger. I'm gonna try that too. Um, this potato box next year, we're probably just gonna do onions in it, maybe uh, peppers. Not sure if they grow well together, but we could try that. Uh, going to, like I said, build a second one. That'll be strictly potatoes. A few less seeds. There's lots of seeds in that one, a lot of seed potatoes in that one. But I'm going to see if I can change it up via your comments. We'll do that. So if you got comments, leave them. Hey, they help me out. Let's see what we can grow and let's see what we can do here. So let's push this baby over. I know that this, these boards are going to come off right away too because well, it's pretty solid. Doesn't matter. It's all old wood. That's not there. That's gone. That was pretty simple. Straight up forward. Oh yeah. I can Definitely see a few already. I'm just gonna rip and tear and see what we got. Oh yeah, nice. A few stragglers. Still got a few small ones on there. I'll just throw them into the other garden. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? Just tipping it over, getting it done. Give it a little shake here. See what we got. Some real small ones here. There we go. Look at this. There's some nice ones. more. Oops. That's a nice baking potato. Some smaller ones. Some more. Some more for sure. Just with the small ones, the real small ones. Toss them in the garden. Now this was just, again, this was just some spare seeds that we had, some spare soil. I had that box sitting around, so all I did was just throw stuff in, and here's what we got. We'll keep digging here and see what else we got.
Yeah, they're hiding. They're hiding in the back. There's some more. So far not bad, so far not bad. That's all right. Some smaller ones. I cut them up, eat them for breakfast. Some real small ones in the garden. Real small. I'm thinking that's about it. So, people ask, you're doing a lot of work for not much yield. I find it, put the seeds in, got your, your soil in there, just water it. There's no hilling, there's no nothing. You can see how easy the soil comes apart. You just run your hands through it. This one here I'll probably do next week. Shoot a video of that one and show you that as well too. So not too bad. A couple pounds of potatoes. Good for a few meals for sure. So and uh, we'll just check, double check in here. I'm gonna take this oil, I'm just gonna heave it in the garden here later on anyway. What's the advantage of doing this? Well the advantage is no hilling and that's it, it's simple, it's enjoyable. Don't have to hill it at all, just let the plants grow. Um, that's it, here we go. Got a few pounds of potatoes, easy, right? Couple small ones. Check this out, 501. This shirt, this sweatshirt is over 20 years old, probably 25 years old. Quality was outstanding, got it for free. I still wear it when I do stuff like this when it's a little cooler outside. It's awesome. Questions, comments, leave lots of comments. Love the comments, keep them coming. Have your friends take a look, get them to subscribe to it. I've got 73 subscribers so far which is awesome total views I'm just over 80,000 out of all my videos which I think is amazing I mean hey for something that I enjoy doing in my own backyard it's enjoyable I love it so uh, next week this one actually probably next week depending on the weather rain tomorrow which is Friday rain on Saturday rain on Sunday they say Let's go. NHL season starts now. Pretty darn soon anyway. But these ones here will make some awesome baked potatoes. Just put them in the oven, put them on the barbecue, foil them up, cut them in half, some butter, sour cream, salt and pepper. There you go. Put some some green chives on top, sure. Bacon bits, always awesome, so awesome. Thanks for watching. Hey, you know what? It's awesome, I love doing this. It's fun, it's enjoyable, I get it done. It uh, takes the daily 
the daily grind away. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. This soil is going in there. Let's pull a plant. Let's see where the camera's at. Let's go. Let's pull one. Take a look. Well, it's about three, I guess. Right on top. So, reds, white. I'm gonna just do a quick dig. Take a look. Oh yeah, look at this. Just right, right here in the corner. Lots of insects. Look at that. Look at this. Let's get a little closer in the sort of Six, not bad sized potatoes. A little smaller, but these are good size. I like just cubing them up. Onions, put them in a frying pan. Oh, fry them up a bit. Salt and pepper, some butter, fantastic. A little bit of sour cream. Hey, you know what, ranch dressing? A thousand islands on top of them too. Ah, uh, geez, mix in some, maybe throw in some mushrooms. Get some mushrooms in there too, fry them up at the same time. This is good stuff, right in my own backyard. Fantastic. Let's do one more little bit. There's more. There's tons. 